Okay, now I think I think you can hear me now. All right, hopefully, hopefully. Anyway, um, my name is Robert Johnston, and I am going to be toning some pages live stream uh, for my little skull. If you go to zerocomics.com slash my-little-skull, you will be able to see some comic pages that I've done. Uh, these are the same pages. I'm just kind of like remastering them a bit better and um, hopefully getting them ready for print. And... We'll see how it turns out, you know. Um, anyway, let's get started. Okay. All right. So I, I already started uh, working on the, the foot here. Let's see what else we can do. I'm trying to add some music in here. Let's see if I can add some music. I don't really know how to do that. I would like to add music. It says on the Restream platform. Let's see if I can do that. Hmm. If anyone knows how to do this, please let me know. And uh, maybe there is something I can do. Let's see. Settings. Uh, hmm. Gosh darn it. I don't know. Looks like the pattern for Restream Studio. Let's see. Try it today. It means try it free. Try it free today. Allow. Yes. Access the microphone. Wait. Unable to access the camera. Enter studio without camera. Okay. Add yourself to a stream. Yo, what are you doing? I want some music. Where's my music? I really don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. <coughs> but let's go back. Maybe I can add somehow Google it. Views music on live stream. All I get is a bunch of YouTube videos. <coughs> okay, let's see. Re stream. Let's check it out. Click the Add Source button, click Background Music, click, let's see, Edit Destination. No, that's not what I want. Click Add. What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to add Nope. No, I don't want 
to access my camera. I don't even have a camera. That's why I have a little drawing of myself. What is this? Okay. Background music. Open Restream Studio. Click the click the Add Source button. Restream Studio. Click the Add Source button. Click the Add Source button. Where is the Add Source? There it is. Music. Oh yeah, chill. Down tempo. Dude, chill hop. Can you guys hear that? I think it's playing. See if I can. I wonder if I can turn that up. Oh, there it is. All right, I think I did it. All right. My phone keeps dinging. That's, uh, I think that's food coming. Yep, food is coming, so I gotta hurry up. Anyway, let, let we get us back to the art. Alright, I don't have much time, so I'm just gonna make this quick. Alright. But let me turn that music up just a little bit more. I can't tell if that's lo too loud or not. Well, anyway, here we go. All right. Okay, so I put this little texture on here. Oh, wait, no, that's, there it is. So I, I put my textures, well, first, I added, I did my flats, okay? And I did it so that they were all, anti-alias so I got no problems with the little white dots should something happen oh no there is one right there let me fix it just take that color and fill that dot and it's all good now I'm gonna turn the line art back on whoops yeah, so that little blue standout piece can go too. So I'm just going to use my lasso, get it out of there, call it a day. All right, line our back on. <coughs> so I got my colors for the whole page. Okay. And I make a layer of those same flats, and then I call it tones. And then I put this light gray color on there. And then from there, I make a hard light layer. And I use different colors. I've got my, what I call GS light and GS dark. Gray scale, light and dark. 
and I'm just gonna select. The funny thing is when you when you use this reference layer setting, it's cool. You can you can still select it, but the funny thing is when you try to select something outside here, look at that. It only it doesn't go inside and c and connect or get all of it. So if you just selected the layer and then selected it look look at how that line goes in there halfway so that's weird I don't know how to make that setting I know it's probably some sort of area scaling over here but who's got time for that you know what I mean not me so I'm just gonna go with it works fine on the inside artwork but when you get to the edges just select your layer and select the color then you know all right, so I'm going to take, oh, I got a gray tone dark also, so I use these main two colors. And I have, a, you've got the little dancing ants selection going around the, uh, the selection. <coughs> what I like to do is I like to turn its visibility off. So I've got it set to a keyboard shortcut with just one click, and I've got that turned off so I, I like to zoom out a little bit <coughs> take my hard edge brush and try to think of where the light source is gonna light source comes from and let's just it looks like we've got it coming from this way so that means that little little edge Then I take uh, this stuff, because I know the light's coming from this direction here, kind of. Whoops, what's going on? Like it's coming from this direction. Because I have already created this shadow here in the building, so I'm just gonna go with it, you know. And we got this white line here in this whole section, so I'm just gonna go with it, with it looking with the light looking down like that. go <coughs> and then I just take my transparent watercolor brush and begin blending because I like it it's fun and it's a great way to stay in shape look okay I'm not done by the way <coughs> I'm just adding darks here like I guess tones uh, the light will come in another pass all right okay Sometimes I like to leave a little perceived um, hard line, but then who knows? Maybe I don't. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I make another hard light layer. I use a lot of hard light layers. I don't really use multiply or anything else of that nature, and I use a soft brush for this pass. Give me a sort of darker...
And then I come under here, put a little darkness on there. That's not bad, I guess. So then I'll just merge these layers down, deselect. Is that okay? You know what? Maybe I should work on this guy, though. Let's see. I like to I like to select areas that are not all connecting like that, but I select them apart from each other where there's a separator, so that when I do go in, I can choose what I want to do um, with a soft brush. Let's see, okay, I got the arms, the torso, and the legs. All right. So. Since the light's coming from this way, this is kind of hiding. All right, we got some shadow there from the arm. Got a little bit of this action going on here. I mean, it's not completely accurate, but all I got to do is make it perceived correct. I'm just adding a, a little base toning. And we're gonna have some that. I'm 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 not a pro as you can see, but I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. And that's really what matters. You know. Just keep doing what you're doing and as long as you're having fun doing it. You don't need to do things the way people think. Sometimes you can just do what you wanna do. I'm gonna go in with a with a hard brush and a new hard light layer. I like to put a thin line here because that helps me when I blend. Sometimes it don't look pretty when you start to do the blend. I mean, when you do this stuff for the blend. <sighs> okay, I think that's good enough. Get my. And I like to do. I like to blend one edge and leave the other edge kind of hard. Gives me a nice little. thing to build from. So you like that. Like that looks okay, I think, for a muscle. Yeah, why not? Let's add some some stuff over here. Cause that's covered up. And let's blend this in. Get some of that going. Alright, I think that looks good. Now we're going to go back to this same hard light layer below. Hard edge again. Well, did I just mess that up? I meant this layer. There we go. You can usually tell. And I'm just quickly Loading in some of this tone here. This guy right here, this arm is going to have a lot of it. Kind of. And then we'll just do a thin line here. Because that'll blend. And then what I like to do is a, a, an even thinner line. 
in some some areas. Okay, that looks all right. Now we're gonna use our transparent and smooth this out a little bit. All right. Hope the music is still doing its job because I, I can't hear it. Be cool if I could hear it. I mean, I can if I turn it on. But shouldn't it play on its own, like on the live stream? That's kind of lame if I can't jam with it myself. Only you guys can jam with it. I think it's cool, but I don't want to get like in trouble with these people. Like I have a restream that's allowing me to use this this music. It's called Chill Hop. Hopefully, hopefully I got, I got, I don't get into trouble. We'll see. All right. I think I like that. I think that looks pretty decent. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go through and oops, check my selection again. Oh, I turned it off. All right. I want to get some other stuff. So we need to do a soft in these areas. Let's... Basically doing the same thing. Hope that's not too loud. Kind of sounds too 80s for me. Like elevator music, almost. It's like one of them old sitcoms, you know, where everybody lived in a house in San Francisco or whatever, and they were playing, and they play football on the, uh, you can take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. Then you got a happy family. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. None of that is true. Everybody's got a messed up family. I mean, I don't know if it sounds like that. It just sounds like elevator music to me. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's all about it's all about me liking that. You know. I wish I could play some some other music. But you know, just having music on my live stream. It's probably a lifesaver, you know, because nobody wants to hear me ramble on for too long anyway. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to hear me talk. All right, I think that looks good. So now we're going to blend that in. And I only got about five more minutes. I think that'll be it for the evening. But I hope I got, I hope I'm doing well. I mean, I got this OBS thing happening. I finally figured it out. A couple of clicks here, clicks there. I've got my background. 
might have to end this a little sooner. This might have to be my last blended part right here. Because my grub is showing up. Yeah, I like that. All right. So now I'm going to merge these down. I'm going to quickly select certain things. Make a new hard light layer. Then choose a soft brush and go with my darker grayscale color. Give myself some... Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. Merge that down, deselect, save, and that's going to be it. Um, I hope that I showed you what I do to get my grayscale effect. This is only... Uh, I still got lights to add. I got to turn the lights on. But so far, keeps me busy. I mean, keep working, keep practicing. Every day, never give up, never surrender. And I hope you guys have a great night. And, uh... I'll see you again sometime. Remember, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Robert Johnston, or go to my website, rjjstudios.com. And if you want to read some comics, go to zero comics, spelled with an X, dot com. There's a few comics on there already. All right. Peace out. Talk to you later.